Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Right, welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 9th edition, 2,000 points. Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines versus the Imperial Fists. Alright, so welcome to this 2,000 points game. Uh, Imperial Fists versus Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines. So, I'm uh, going to run through the Thousand Suns list in just a moment. Uh, before I do, just mention the patrons at gold level. Uh, it's just to call out their names. Alex Stillwar, Andrew Swan, Marcus Anthony, Luke Schwengel, Nicholas Lucas, Patrick McPherson, Paul Cook, Will Wright and Zachary Silton. Big thanks to them uh, for their support at gold level. Uh, that is on the Striking Scorpion 82 Patreon page and all of the proceeds go uh, direct to my local Wargames Club SSWG. You can check out the end credits and a big thank you to those supporting at Silver Level uh, for their names and then thanks also to those supporting at Bronze. Alright, so 2,000 points of Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines. This is the updated points values now. Uh, so all up to date and ready to go. Going to play at 2,000 points, I reckon, just to continue on with that points uh, value for our armies. And uh, it just means that 8th edition lists going to 9th, they're going to shrink a little bit. So there's a few m units missing here uh, from the previous lists. But it's been reworked and now ready to go for 9th edition. Just playing some more warm-up games as we prepare uh, to get back to the Season 8 League uh, as more factions arrive and as other factions still have their three games to play. So, uh, the structure then, you start with 12 command points, uh, then I've taken a battalion, the Warlords in that battalion, so still keep the 12 command points, but I've also then uh, paid out points for a spearhead detachment, so that's minus three. I've taken an extra relic, an extra warlord trait for this Thousand Suns list, so I dropped down to seven uh, command points uh, to start in the game. And obviously you're going to be uh, gaining a command point at the start of each turn uh, as well. So not too many command points to play with here, but I think the upgrades uh, are worth the trade-off uh, losing some uh, of our command points. So for the battalion, that's all of these units along here and the Terminators uh, and the Demon Prince there as well. So I've got three HQs, uh, so two Exalted Sorcerers, both equipped with the Staves and Warp Flame Pistols. Uh, so I've given them nicknames just to remember them during the battle. So there's Chicken Wing, the one with the wings on his arm, or the feathers on his arm, and then Beaker, the one with the beak, I've called him uh, Beaker, and just helps me remember which ones are which uh, during the battle. So Psychic Powers for them. Uh, Glamour of Zinch, uh, which is uh, the opponent 
at minus one to the hit rolls against a unit that's cast on. Weaver of Fates is plus one to an invul save to a unit nearby. Uh, then Beaker has Presence, which is plus one to hit rolls. And then Temporal Manipulation, which is the ability to restore D3 lost wounds on any of these units, including uh, the Mall of Fiend vehicles as well. So two psychers just to try and help out uh, this Thousand Suns army. Uh, then uh, the third HQ choice is the Demon Prince of Zinch. Uh, so two psychic powers for him, Treason of Zinch, you're able to uh, turn an enemy model against its own army if that goes off. Then Gaze of Fate, that's just a reroll at some point during that turn. Uh, I've given him wings, so I've got 12 inch move. Uh, twin Malefic Talons, he is the Warlord. Uh, so Otherworldly Presence or Prescience is his Warlord trait, which gives him plus one in Von Save, so bumping him up to a three plus in Von Save. Then this battalion is taken from the Cult of Time, uh, so the extra Extra Psychic Power is Time Flux, so any of the Psychers uh, here from this battalion uh, are able to use that as the ability to restore one model with all of its wounds remaining, or if you score high enough, I think it's a 9+, plus, you can restore, score, uh, restore D3 models back to play, so the ability to resurrect fallen models uh, during the game. Uh, but I'm going to use one of the Relics here, uh, it's the Hourglass of Manette, uh, it's been put onto the Warlord, the moment he dies... Uh, whatever phase that is during the game, uh, he's immediately res restored at the end of that phase with D3 wounds remaining and just has to resurrect as close as possible uh, to the location where he died and keep over an inch away from enemy models. He's guaranteed to return to play. So it's just to make him a bit more durable uh, during the battle. So that's the three HQs. They have troops have actually got four for this battalion. You only need three, but I've taken four. Uh, three units of Zangors, three units of ten, all equipped with Zangor blades, uh, which gives them the extra attack and the AP minus one in close combat. Then the fourth troops choice is a unit of ten Rubik Marines, all equipped with the Inferno Bolters. Uh, there's an aspiring sorcerer equipped with the stave and a warp flame pistol. And then one of the Rubik Marines is equipped with a Soul Reaper cannon. Uh, for him, Doombolt is the psychic power uh, for the aspiring sorcerer. So that's all the troops. Then within that battalion uh, is two units of Scarab Occult Terminators, two units of five, both equipped the same. Uh, there's four Power Swords in the squad. There's four Inferno Combi Bolters. Uh, there's Hellfry Missile Rack, a Soul Reaper cannon in each, and then the... Sorcerer is equipped with the stave uh, and also carrying the Inferno Combi Bolter. Doom Bolt for both of those squads as well as, re as, well as the regular low-grade smite available from them. That's the battalion. Then the spearhead detachment, that's the Maul of Fiends, so three heavy supports taken and two HQs uh, taken in that detachment as well. First is Araman on a disc of Zinch. Psychic powers for him is Death Hex, Zinch's Firestorm and Infernal Gaze. Uh, then the second HQ choice is another Exalted Sorcerer uh, on a disc of Zinch. Uh, Inferno Bolt Pistol for him and the Stave. Uh, that's Disco Inferno is his nickname, just to remember him during the game. And Psychic Powers is Warp Time, so ability to move uh, another unit that's nearby for a second time. Uh, still be allowed to charge. And then Diabolic Strength, so the ability to add plus two strength and an extra attack to another unit nearby. So I'll cover some upgrades for him in just a moment. Uh, so one, two, three, Maul of Fiends, all equipped the same, uh, with the Maul of Fiend Fists and the Lasher Tendrils for each of those. That fulfills the Spearhead Detachment. That detachment is taken from the Cult of Magic, so just to make them a bit different, and it gains access to uh, Astral Blast, Psychic Power, which will only be available, Araman can't take it because he's a named character, uh, but Disco Inferno can take that Psychic Power, as well as all the other Psychic Powers that he already has. Uh, it's like a 15-inch Smite, uh, but once that goes off, all units within 3 inches then take an extra mortal wound as well. So it's like a smite that then explodes onto other units nearby. Uh, I've then paid the points for an extra warlord trait, which is devastating sorcery. Uh, whenever he manifests a power that causes mortal wounds, it's plus one mortal wound to the damage. So smite, for example, is D3 plus one. Uh, the astral blast, D3 plus one. And they reckon it does carry over uh, when it spills over into other units within three inches. So units within three inches will then take uh, two mortal wounds instead of one. And finally, uh, the extra relic that's been taken is Arcane Focus. 
quite easy to remember just plus one to all psychic uh, tests taken so just to try and make him a bit more of a reliable psycho so that's the list for the thousand sons playing uh, heavy distraction with the spearhead three mortar fiends uh, to go on the rampage then multiple units used in a screen and that's protecting all these key sorcerers here that can dish out a horrific amount of damage potentially in the psychic phase that's the way this list is played to be a uh, be a fresh challenge for them against the Imperial Fist, boasting some nasty firepower. I'm not going to run the Thousand Sons here. Aaron Allen will gladly take command. Uh, an accomplished uh, Chaos Commander, usually taking control of his Death Guard army, but he's happy to run uh, the Thousand Sons here against the forces of the Imperium. So we'll take a look now and see what the Imperial Fists have in their revamped list. All right, so 2,000 points of Imperial Fists. I've made the decision uh, to go for Classic Marines here, just to try and keep a Classic Marine list alive on the channel. I was going to say alive and well, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see how well they cope uh, here. As uh, times have moved on, Primaris seems to dominate many Space Marine armies here. Uh, but we'll go for Classic Marines, perhaps an isolated group of Marines here that haven't received their Primaris reinforcements, or perhaps uh, we can go back to a time before Primaris Marines uh, were never around. But it's going to be Classic Marines here for the Imperial Fists, and we'll see how well they do against the Thousand Suns, one of the top-performing armies on the channel at the moment. So the structure here is a battalion. It's 12 command points, uh, but then I've taken some extra upgrades here, extra relic, warlord trait, uh, and a uh, upgrading one of the characters from the Faith and Fury Psychic Awakening book. So down to nine command points in total uh, for this Imperial Fists army. So HQ choices, uh, it's Captain Lysander uh, will be the Warlord. That's the first HQ choice uh, with his hammer and shield. Uh, warlord trait for him is indomitable. Uh, so uh, it's never better than a 4 plus to wound him just to try and preserve and keep him alive uh, for as long as possible. I also have a lieutenant in the list as well. So a power fist for him and uh, then a master crafted bolt gun as well. And then the librarian's back it's been a long long time since I've seen the librarian uh, in with the imperial fists but uh, he's come back from being banished for not performing too well in previous games uh, fortify and chasm are the two psychic powers uh, for him so fortify means he can restore wounds on infantry or biker unit nearby and chasm um, i'm trying to once this manifests i'm trying to roll uh, as high as possible to score mortal wounds uh, if I score less than the target unit's movement, then it's a mortal wound. If I equal it, it's D3. And if I beat uh, the target, then it is a guaranteed three mortal wounds coming through. That's the HQ choices. Uh, for troops, uh, classic tactical squads here. Squads of ten. Uh, so uh, it's all equipped the same. Bolt pistol and chainsaw for the sergeant. There's a plasma gun in each squad and a last cannon in each squad as well. Three units of ten. Then Rhinos, uh, all equipped the same as well. Hunter Killer Missile for each and a double Storm Bolter uh, for them as well. Then on to Elite's choices. Uh, the Apothecary here, which I can't pronounce too well, so just going to call him Medic. Uh, I have given him the upgrade uh, from the Psychic Awakening book. Uh, so uh, he gets to re-roll his attempt to resurrect models. Uh, he also has the Healer's Aegis Relic. So models within an inch gain a 5 plus uh, it's Invon save, but I, I think it's model, so we've got to pack them pretty tight around him to take advantage of that Invon save. And then the extra Warlord trait being granted to him is Father of the Future, so a 6 plus feel no pain uh, to infantry and biker units within 6 inches. Uh, then more elite's choices, uh, classic Terminators being used here, so a squad of 5 with Power Fists, uh, Power Sword, uh, on the Sergeant, there is an Assault Cannon in the squad, and... Uh, four power fists in that squad as well then for heavy support centurion devastators here uh, double last cannon for each of them and uh, then hurricane bolters uh, on all three of those as well then within the battalion you are able to take air support up to two slots so i've taken uh, two storm talon gunships all equipped with typhoon missile launchers and then the twin assault cannons for each of those two as well so uh, a bit short of 2,000 points here for the Imperial Fists, uh, but that's the list here for them. 
an experiment, a chance for them to cause an upset here. If they defeat the Thousand Suns in this game, that will be a mighty achievement. Uh, but th the prediction is that they'll not do too well. But we'll see. We'll watch and see what happens and see if the Imperial Fists can restore some lost pride and glory. We'll go on to scenario and deployment now for this battle. All right, so we have a scenario here. It's Vital Intelligence Mission Number 6 uh, from the 9th Edition Rulebook for Eternal War Strike Force-sized games. So Aaron's elected to be the defender. Uh, so he's chosen his deployment zone, which is this deployment zone just here, marked by the line of red dice. So Thousand Suns will be deploying uh, just on that side of the board. Uh, and then the Imperial Fists will be deploying uh, just across here and their diagonal deployment zone uh, marked by the line of Imperial Fist yellow dice. Uh, there are six objectives on the board, uh, so we'll call these out. There's one just tucked in here. It's that canister just there uh, inside the Imperial Fist deployment zone. Uh, there is the cat from the Space Hulk game just here. Another canister on this extreme flank. So there's four objectives in No Man's Land. Uh, the other two, there's one just there, it's the Space Marine on the throne from the Space Hulk set, and then Aaron will just point out the other one just there for us in No Man's Land, marked by the canister. And the final objective is just tucked inside the Thousand Suns deployment zone, uh, the Fallen Terminator uh, model just there. So six objectives. The usual primary objectives rules here, domination. If uh, you control two or more objective markers, at the start of your command phase, uh, you pick up five points, a further five points if it's three or more objective markers, and then a further five points if it if you control more objective markers than the opponent. So as uh, those points can't be scored in the first turn of the game, but turn two onwards, uh, those will come into effect. Then the secondary objectives here, uh, we've both uh, elected to go for the one uh, from the mission, so that's data intercept here. Uh, so uh, in your movement phase, you need to clear an objective, get a unit on top of it, survive through to your next command phase, and then you can start harvesting points. Uh, quite straightforward. Each time a unit from your army successfully completes the following action, you score a number of victory points equal to the number of objective markers you currently control. So big incentives here in this game to go after objective markers. There's six of them. So board control and durability will be key here in this game. Both armies have the potential to do that. Imperial Fist can castle up and spread out and the Thousand Suns happy to go aggressive and try and push the Imperial Fists back. Uh, then uh, two more secondaries available for both of us. Aaron's gone for raise the banners higher, so camping out on objectives, and then you can start raking in points uh, as the turns go by. Uh, and then the other one is first strike. Yeah. yeah, this one just here. So five victory points at the end of the battle if any enemy units were destroyed in the first battle round. And score an additional three points if more enemy units than friendly units were destroyed in the first battle round. So an opportunity there to try and snatch uh, some points early on in the game. Uh, then the Imperial Fists, we're going to go for attrition. So score four, four victory points at the end of each battle round if more enemy units than friendly units were destroyed this battle round. Uh, and then we'll also go for for bring it down. I'm going to try and hunt these smaller fiends. Uh, they are 12 wound models, so they're worth three victory points each for each of those that are destroyed. That's the secondary selected for both armies. Uh, we'll now go on to deployment here. We'll start alternating placing units on the board. All right, so the battle mat that we're using in this game is from gamemat.eu. Uh, so it rolls out nice and flat. Just simply put the train on top, then some stones and scatter and uh, place some train pieces uh, on there just to blend the whole thing in. Uh, also using some of their pre-painted terrain. Uh, so this is the industrial train set, this building here. These two, I've been painting them up to match in my Admech army. Uh, and then this uh, construction just here as well, it's from that pre-painted terrain set. These green boxes as well uh, all come from that industrial terrain set. So you can check out gamemat.eu for your supplies of battle mats and terrain, and the link for them is in the video description below. All right, so deployment's done for both sides. Uh, so the Thousand Suns uh, it's quite even with their deployment. Bit more weight on Aaron's right-hand flank, double Maul of Fiend, Disco Inferno over on that side. Uh, then. Uh, Beaker's just there, Chicken Wing also, it's definitely a bit more weight in this direction. Unit as angles, Maulafiend dead centre, Aramon just behind, you can see the Dean Prince of the Wings just behind there. There's another unit of Zangles hiding behind these crates, and finally another unit on Aaron's left hand flank. 
There are reserves for the Thousand Sons. Two units of the Terminators uh, allowed to teleport strike into the battle. So that will be turned to onwards for them. Then for the Imperial Fists, no reserves at all. Everything we have is on the board. I put the Terminators over on this flank. Usually, especially for 8th edition, you could pack your castle quite tight and try and control it, have a gun line. Uh, but there's so many objectives on the board and spread all across the flanks. Imperial Fists are going to have to break up here to some degree. So we've put Terminators on this flank. I want them on the table. Librarian is with them, just for better protection. Uh, the Rhino out front with a combat squad just inside. Combat squad on top, uh, just here. Then combat squad just here, the last cannon uh, with one model dropping down, maintaining coherence and holding on to that objective. Captain Lysander just behind them. Uh, the lieutenant's just in amongst them as well, and his bubble being granted to multiple units on different levels. Have gone on top with the sentry and devastators uh, just up here. Uh, the medic is with them also. And then another combat squad just deployed around the edge. Uh, of the building around here again equipped with a las cannon so one two three las cannon combat teams uh, the other two rhinos are occupied by two five-man squads on the left hand flank and the flyers are safe for now at the back there's no minus anymore for vehicles moving so i can maneuver them into position and keep a decent ballistic skill with them so that's deployment done for both sides there's the combat squads just off the board uh, there for the Imperial Fists, so all in position and ready to go. The mission's ready, secondaries chosen, armies deployed, Imperial Fists dice ready. Pride and glory to be restored. And we will let you go first, yeah. Chaos. Mm -hmm. Four, it's respectable enough. But with the smile of the Emperor, we score a three. <laughs> so Aaron can, Aaron can choose to go first or second. Sure, you must go first. Yeah, okay, no, I agree with you there. Uh, the forces of chaos will make the first move. The Imperial Fists will have to hold their position for now and watch the oncoming assault here from the Thousand Sons. We're going to turn one. The forces of chaos will make the first move. So we're on turn one. Thousand Suns have completed their manoeuvres here. So uh, virtually all units uh, charging ahead. We'll go around to the other side of the board. You can see it from Aaron's perspective here. All right, so 
uh, Zangles pushing forwards. This unit's held back and does have control of the objective. Uh, Rubik Marines uh, just a move from them, so they are available to shoot. Mordorphines have pushed forwards. One of these may well be able to move again uh, with the help of Disco Inferno and Warp Time. Uh, Dim Prince pushing forwards, Aaron jumping forwards, and roll a six for the Zangors. They have reached uh, this building, this construction just here, and may well be sheltered from Imperial Fist firepower. So it's rapid movement here uh, for most of the Thousand Suns units, so good progress across the board. Just discussing the game, uh, 9th edition in general, the days of castling up tight with an army uh, must surely be over the way objectives are spread all across the board and you have to control them to try and pick up objectives it's forcing armies to spread out and have units that are able to camp out and hold uh, objectives on the board objectives then just to remind you where they are there's a canister here not controlled by anyone uh, just yet this one i think aaron's got himself in three inches of that one just there other objective is just there, not quite in control, and the other one on that far flank. Aaron controls his home objective, and Imperial Fists currently hold there. It's just that canister just there. Movements done. Now, the psychic phase for the Thousand Suns next. All right, so we're on psychic phase. Just to mention, uh, Aaron has raised the banner. It's one of his secondary objectives. He's raised it on uh, the Terminator model just there, so that objective at the back. Pretty good rules for that one. Uh, so Aaron's going to perform the action at the end of his movement phase. He could start harvesting points from that at the start of his next command phase, the start of turn two, if he maintains control of that objective. So, and you get a point for each one you control at the end of the game as well. So pretty good flow of points potentially available. Yeah, okay. No primaries being scored. You can't score them on turn one. So, so we'll start with Gears of Fate. Gears of Fate, yeah. This is the potential reroll if it goes off. I can't block it. Uh, my Psyker Librarian is just down here. The only one in range for him is uh, Araman, just within 24, to try and block one of his powers. So that's the reroll available. Uh, now Gaze of Fate from the Demon Prince. Second power for the Demon Prince, Smite. I think the Centurions are an inch further away. Yeah. Yes, the uh, the lower squad's just here uh, that Aaron is in range of, first of all. It goes off. There's nothing I can do. And, oh, three mortal wounds. Here we go. <laughs> it's been forced to drink my own medicine here. The first lot of Smite brings down three Marines. But I've removed three models from play. Uh, there is the ability coming from... Uh, the medic up here at uh, six plus feel no pain uh, rolled the dice but no six is scored so three of those marines brought down this is good so far i've taken models from the back so that that lead model is still in front just to absorb more potential smite coming through so that's the dim prints done but good from him three mortal wounds caused the rerolls available so so far so good and uh up to eight command points now he's uh, refunded one at the start of the command phase so looking healthy enough Okay. Um, Disco Inferno. Let's go, yeah, warp time. Okay, warp time. Uh, he's on plus one to his results. Yeah, not in range of car ballistic focus, uh, but on plus one anyway uh, for his upgrade. That's fine. That's easily going to go off. Okay, so I'll just move this smaller thing. Right, it's the furthest smaller thing. It's the one on that flank. So it's going to swing around another 10 inches. Uh oh. Oh dear, it's going to slam there. into one of the rhinos. I knew this was coming, not much we can do about it, but it's this flank here. Uh, the Thousand Suns are pressing the hardest at the moment. So warp time done. Uh, it's Diabolic Strength and Smite available as a second power uh, from Disco Inferno. It's going to try and pick off that unit. It's got two models left. It's going to go for Smite. Oof, that goes off because, well. because of his plus one. Comes in handy once again, D3. Yeah, two. It's enough. Six plus feel no pain. No. Destroyed. Combat squad gone. Less cannon removed. Well played. First strike. Looks like it's been achieved. So good play here from the Thousand Suns. Okay. Yeah, arrow check for Araman here. Difficult angles involved uh, with the levels here, but we'll check and see what Araman can do. Okay. All right. So Infernal Gaze is going to be played into the Centurions. Aaron can select whichever unit he wants in range. Should easily go off. Ooh, a three. Uh, Plus one for Araman, but... I'll use my Gears of Fate reroll. Yep, okay, here it comes. Now it goes off. Three dice needed four pluses. Got one, okay. Immortal Wind caused. I'll go for the six plus, feel no pain. And no. Yeah. <clears throat> Next. 
this inches firestorm we'll put it into the centurions as well okay I think it's the natural choice. That's going to go off yep. on an eight. Nine dice needing sixes to cause mortal wounds. Triple six. That's what you're after. That's when that power can be pretty effective. I've got none there. That's, oh no, that's a slain model. One of the centurions is now gone. Not good, not good, not good. We'll keep going. Um, Just then which will have to go into the marine. Closest, yeah, which is that marine unit. Oh, that's super smite. That's D6, mortal wounds. Come on. Yes. Oh, he's just wiped out the squad. Uh, hold it right there. We'll do feel no pain. I need a double six here. Oh, none. <laughs> Aravind's just brought down an entire combat squad and another Laz Cannon gone. Ouch, this is painful stuff from the Thousand Sons. There's no mercy here. The Imperial Fists have raised their head. They've stuck their head above the parapet here, looking to return to the channel. And the Thousand Sons are currently electrocuting them alive here with uh, some bedazzling psychic powers. Up to their usual tricks here and psychic mastery. Uh, what can we do? I, I was in range here to try and block it, but I'd need a double six to try and stop that. So Aaron strikes here. Imperial Fist Combat Squad wiped out. All right, so next... Uh, Chicken wing. Weaver of Fates is going to be cast. It's actually going to go on to the, his fellow chickens here, the blue chickens. That does not go, not go off. Not go off. Now on a four. Okay, that would have been plus one in one save. Second power that's available. Yeah, it's going to be smite. I just have to measure it up. Yeah, right, yeah, range 24 for the Thousand Sons. Yeah, closest unit is definitely these. Just measure just to check. So smite goes off. Uh, it's, I'm out of range. I can't stop it. Oh, I'm out of range of any kind of help here, so we'll take away these three here. My classic marines are being slaughtered here, and not a shot being fired. It's all psychic might coming through. That's chicken wing done. Yeah. Beaker next. Oh, no, okay, regular. This guy um, into the same unit, I believe. Just yes, going to be the closest, yes. So, uh, low-grade smite, this one. Which does go off, and it's just going to be a mortal wound caused, so another model removed. Yeah, just check line of sight, that unit can see, so that's gone ahead, no problem. Uh, so still Beaker left here. Uh, Prescience, I think he has, so he's able to give plus one to the hit rolls. For shooting, or close combat, well, it'll be for both, whichever unit receives it. And then the other power is temporal manipulation, which is restoring wounds. So no no wounds need to be restored. So smite will be the other option. We'll go for prescience and we'll try and put it. Put it onto that Maul of Fiend yet, yeah, just as yeah. it prepares to plunge into close combat. Off. Who's off an eleven? Good play. Okay, and then we'll do a smite, which again is probably just into that marine unit. Pick off this lone Les Cannon. Oh, it's D6 mortal wounds. Oh, three. All right, another combat squad gone. And, uh, mercifully, I think that's the end of the second. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Psychic phase complete. Just looking around. Yeah, that's it. The Terminator's not on the board. Everyone's powers have been used, but uh, it's been a, a deadly display here uh, from the Thousand Suns. Three combat squads wiped out here for the Imperial Fists. And all my last cannons are gone. Yeah, yep. all three last cans from those combat teams are removed from play. And have lost a Centurion Devastator. Can it get any worse? We'll go on to shooting phase next. All right, Rubik Marines, uh, the ones that are in range, really their only target here, there's not much left to shoot at in the middle, is the Centurion Devastators. One hit comes through. It is a wound, and it's AP minus two. So we'll try and make our save, which we pass on a six, no problem. Yeah, okay, now we're playing dense terrain here, so it would have been minus one to hit rolls, so that wouldn't have been uh, a hit. But no damage has come through, and that is it. Shooting phase done. The, most of the emphasis is on the psychic powers. The Terminators aren't here to lend their firepower support. We're going to charges next. I doubt there's going to be any overwatch uh, from the Rhinos, so the Maul of Fiend is going to roll up to try and charge in. I think it's minus two for the crater. So, so it's, uh, it'll be a five inch uh, plus two for seven inch. Seven inch charge. I'm not going to overwatch, so Aaron can. In it goes. All the things gone in. 
All right, so charge has gone ahead. Uh, Aaron's played Demon Forge here. It's the usual play on the Mall of Fiends. It's going to get to reroll, hit rolls, and wound rolls. So four attacks with the fists, and then it's going to be an extra attack for a Chaos unit on the charge. So five attacks, and there'll be the Lasher Tendrils to come uh, later on with their... Oh, you've got Prescience on him. Yeah. Yeah, threes to hit them. That's all hit. Uh, all hit. There's no death to the False Emperor uh, for them, so... It's now going to be three to wound. Rolling of yep, I think you've got this rhino here. They've all wounded. AP minus three. I need a ton of sixes here. None. Uh, Fifteen wounds were dead. <laughs> that was pretty quick. Uh, explosion? No. Uh, the guy's inside. I'm just going to roll five ones. I just can sense it. I'm just the one. Okay. So one model slain. Uh, come on, reroll. No, praise the Emperor. I'm going to try and keep him alive. Come on, reroll. Yeah, just about. Okay, so they drag their burning Conrad from the, the vehicle here. Imperial Fists fight as a family here. All five emerge from the burning vehicle. All right, so situation, we've marked up the spot where the rhino was. We deployed at the back end of the vehicle, so Aaron's pushed through and consolidated, but he's not going to tap out uh, these infantry just here. But uh, successful attack here from the Maulah Fiend. It's exactly... Uh, done what it's designed to do, double move warp time, smashed into a target and ripped it to shreds. So a good result there uh, at the end of the turn for the Thousand Sons. Okay, so turn's finished. Uh, it's all in all, a very successful turn for the Thousand Sons here. It's making their mark here in Ninth Edition. They mean business for sure. Looks like they're planning to brush aside the Imperial Fists. But whilst one classic marine draws breath, we will not... Surrender. We'll press on. Turn one for the Imperial Fist. They've got to make some kind of impact, and they must do it very, very quickly here. Otherwise, it could turn into a slaughter. We're going to turn one now for the Imperial Fists. All right, so movement's complete here for the Imperial Fists. Bit of a, a knee-jerk reaction here to the Thousand Sons aggression. This game... <sighs> A lot's going to happen very early on, I reckon, here. An immediate attack from the Thousand Sons. The Imperial Fists uh, reacting immediately here. Forget about sand castles being built here. Imperial Fists have had the heart ripped out of their infantry in the middle. Both flanks are responding, and flyers have flown across <laughs> the Thousand Sons here in a desperate action to try and bring down some characters. So it's all kicking off here immediately on turn one. So, Rhinos uh, first of all disembarked the five-man team, and they've reclaimed that home objective. Terminators have pushed forwards five inches, so the Librarians moved around here. He's just skimming around the edge to stay out of Deny the Witch from Araman, uh, ready to use his psychic powers. Then the Rhinos move forwards, trying to block off the Mauler Fiend, uh, and also has claimed this objective across here. Uh, then the Lieutenant's gone upstairs and has joined the Centurion Devastators, uh, the apothecary here, or the medic, uh, on the reroll, the second attempt managed to resurrect one of the Centurion Devastators. Only got one wound left, but it's good to see that model back in play. Lysander swung around here, uh, watching his beloved Marines try and take on this Mauler Fiend here. So combat teams disembarked, the other surviving squad from the Burnt Out Rhino. Uh, so ten Marines now going to try and gang up on that flanking at uh, Mauler Fiend, and then the Rhinos pushed through, bursting through 12 inches, heading off towards the flank objective. So Imperial Fist trying to scoot around the edges, trying to keep in mind uh, this game revolves around these objectives. Uh, their hearts kind of been ripped out here, our central position more exposed. We're hoping our firepower can cut down the Thousand Suns to some degree. Perhaps wishful thinking. We'll see what happens. We'll go on to the psychic phase next for the Imperial Fists. So we'll go for Chasm. The special power for the Imperial Fists. And it doesn't go off. Okay, so try not to laugh here. <laughs> it's very hard not to, though. Um, so we'll go for Smite then. <clears throat> oh, yeah, just hang on a second. That's not right. The Emperor will help us with a uh, command reroll. Uh, I'm going to leave that where it was because I, I needed to add one. You have to reroll both. You have to reroll both? Yeah. That's fine. We'll pass on the second attempt. No, we don't. <laughs> oh dear. Um, failed. Next, uh, Smite. Oh, it's going to be Perils. <gasps> That's gone off on a 10. Not quite Super Smite. It's 11 now uh, for Smite. Super Smite. So it's going to be D3 Mortal Wounds. 
the heart. A mortal wound caused and one chicken is cooked. There. Psychic phase complete. Uh, pitiful compared to what the Thousand Sons can do. We've gone to shooting phase next. This now is the forte uh, for the Imperial Fists. Uh, cold, raw, unforgiving firepower. Right, so firepower. We're going to go to the Centurion Devastators. They can see, because of the height of this building, they can see through to the Zangors here. We're going to try and take them out with all the Hurricane Bolters. Then I'm going to put four last cannon shots into this one. And two last cannon shots just to try and weaken uh, the Morlefiend on this flank to try and assist those Marines. That's the idea. Two last cannon shots into the flanking Morlefiend. You're rolling ones. Captain Lysander... Thankfully, is nearby. But it doesn't help. One hit has come through. Yeah, it's just one comes through. I'm going to try and wound now. It's the last can. Three plus. Hey, Lieutenant. Oh. Yes. Oh, it helps. Well done, Lieutenant. Okay. So, AP minus four. Because it's devastated doctrine. Aaron will take his five plus in one save. Hey, passes. Okay. All right. Um... We'll move on. Four last cannon shots into the next smaller fiend. This one here. Uh, Reroll this one for Captain Lysander. Ah, oh, it's missed. Okay, threes to wound. It's okay. The lieutenant's there to help. He's helped again, so two have made it through. Five plus invon saves. No. Foul. Do you want to command reroll here? Because that's I gonna be two D6 damage. So, yes. Okay, here comes the command reroll. Quite an important roll this one. No. no. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. I am um, trying to think because there's other places where I might want to use a command rear of it later on. There's characters to try and pick off. I'm going to leave it. All right, so it's going to be five wounds caused, so seven wounds remain. Yeah, Legacy of Dawn. Just checking the rules. Plus one damage, so... Five wounds remain on that Morlefiend. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, it's taken some pretty heavy damage. So try and take advantage of the bonus for heavy firepower here whilst the Devastated Doctrine is active for the Imperial Fists. So I've declared all the firepower from the Hurricane Bolters into the Zangors. Just want to make sure I wipe them out. So the first 12 shots, because they haven't moved, I'm going to max out with our firepower here. Rerolling ones. Okay. No sixes scored. Cover is irrelevant. Imperial Fists can ignore cover. Fours to wound. Uh, so three make it through. So three saves of five plus. In one. Okay, so two slain. And then we'll go again. Got to try and do better than this here. So we're looking for threes to hit. And I'll just take away the misses. I've popped two extra auto hits. For Imperial Fists. Looking to wound. Rerolling my ones for the Lieutenant. And there is another six saves of five plus at this rate. I don't think we're going to destroy these Zangles here. Good rolling. Four more slain. Two blocked. Possibly. See what we roll here. Reroll that one. So threes to hit. Two sixes. So we popped two extra hits. Just helped out here. Fours to wind. Yeah, maybe. I can reroll all of these for the lieutenant. Ah, oh, lieutenants come to their aid. It is ten saves to make here. Sorry, nine saves to make a five plus. Four zangles remain. Got them. Got them. All right. Unit destroyed. Okay. So I was going to fire these across here, but some idiot's gone and parked a rhino and it <laughs> across their line of sights. So the rhino's got in their way. I'm going to supercharge a plasma gun into this smaller feint. So don't get a one. <laughs> We've got a hit, okay. Uh, and then we have near cause to wound, supercharging plasma. It might be strength eight. We'll just double check. It needs to be if this wound is going to go through. Yep, it has wounded. It is strength eight. Not saved. Two more wounds caused, down to three. That's a tempting target to try and pick off here. I've still got the Stormtown gunships available with their firepower. Okay. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire a hunter killer missile into it. That might well be worth doing. I'm going to put the two, heart, uh, the two storm bolters into uh, the Zangors here. I'm well, starting this bit of a semi-hopeful vibe here with Imperial Fists. There's plenty of firepower to go. Uh, so 
uh, seeker uh, missile. Hunter killer. Oh, missed. Okay, then we'll go for hurricane bolters into the Zangors. That's not bad at all. And I've actually popped two auto hits as well. And three wounds come through. Three saves of five plus. <laughs> Passed all of them. Okay, no comment. Moving on. Um, so firepower complete here and here. Uh, may as well fire the Terminators now. I'm going to stick all of their firepower into the Zangors to try and pick on them. So, uh, Storm Bolters. No kind of rerolls available. Um, so those are the hits. Like so. There's two auto hits as well. Falls to end. Not so good, no. I mustn't complain about the dice. I promised I wouldn't, but that was terrible. Uh, four have made it through. Five pluses. Past three on a triple six. Okay. One slain. <laughs> Terminator's not so good from them. Uh, assault cannon. We have moved. Fours for hits. Threes for a wound. No wound at all coming from the assault cannon. So Terminator firepower, which I thought would be excellent against the Zangors, has been utterly terrible. Okay, so... That's them complete. This flank's really resolved. Not too bad for the Centurion Devastators. Uh, firepower now available uh, against the Maul of Fiend. So what I'm going to do is going to fire the Hunter Killer Missile from the other flanking Rhino into this one to try and pick it off. Uh, and then we'll put the Hurricane or the uh, Storm Bolters into uh, the Maul of Fiend to try and pick off a few wounds just there. So uh, against the Maul of Fiend. No kind of rerolls available. Three hits with an auto Hit scored as well. Fives to wound. One wound comes through. No minus. So three up save. Awesome. Okay. And then Hunter Killer Missile. It's going across against this one. Oh, no. I've missed with that. Okay. Okay. It's getting kind of desperate on this flank. Uh, this smaller fiend here hasn't been damaged. And I've committed these two combat squads. Uh, so I'm going to play clearance protocols here for the Imperial Fist. Imperial Fist stratagem. Uh, so four members of the squad on the extreme left are going to throw crack grenades. Good to grenades can throw a grenade that phase instead of only one model being able to do so. Yep, so crack grenades, here they come. Threes for hits. <laughs> I try not to laugh here, but it's very hard not to. Triple two and a one being scored. So <laughs> they, the grenades are thrown, but they uh, forgot to pull the pins. I think it's happened there. Okay, so I'm going to rapid fire the plasma gun. Uh, supercharging, and that's hit. And two wounds have made it through. Yes, okay. So, Invon saves required here. Past one. Okay, two damage taken. Dropping down to ten wounds left. Uh, then the other combat squad, I'm going to throw one crack grenade from the sergeant. And he's hit. And he's failed to wound. Uh, then, uh, rapid fire with the bolt guns. Daka, daka, daka. Going in. Two auto hits. So I'll add all those in together. Fives to wound. Two wounds come through, two saves of three plus. We are not going to do much damage to this vehicle. Oh, fouled both. Two more wounds taken, drops to eight. Oh boy, okay. And then we'll go for. Oh boy. Rapid fire plasma. Oh! God. Come on, reroll. I haven't used it yet, have I? No. no. Okay, here it comes. No, he wanted to die. He's gone. So he can be removed from play. Command reroll used up. I'm down to six command points left. That's a shame. One's made it through, though. He's, he's parting shot. Did wound. Five plus in one save. Or two more wounds will come through. Ah, past of that one. Good rolling. Uh, Smaller Fiend now is on eight wounds remaining. All right. Uh, salvation for the Imperial Fist may well come from the skies. I've got these two Storm Talon gunships. I've risked flying them over the top of the Thousand Suns. There's a danger of psychic powers. They can be assaulted by the Dim Prince if he wishes to charge into them. But I have firepower here with them. There's no minus to the hit rolls uh, now for Ninth Edition as they've moved. And I get strafing run against ground targets as well, units that cannot fly. So, in which case, I'm going to go for... This one here, I'm going to fire uh, crack shots with the Typhoon Missile Launcher into Beaker. And then I'm going to go for uh, the Twin Assault Cannon into this Mauler Fiend here. Because damage to the shots coming through, and it may well be enough to destroy this vehicle. 
So, twin assault cannon for the Emperor of Mankind. Ooh. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. That's really good. Okay, so now we're looking for fives to wound. Ah, surely we got him. Surely that's enough. Uh, AP minus two. So five plus save, five plus invun save. Here it comes. Got him. That's eight damage. Okay. Does he explode? No. Mordorfine destroyed. All right. Uh, good shooting from that pilot. Next, we're going to Beaker here. He, he doesn't fly, so it's twos to hit him. Oh! God. I can't come on rerolls. You see, this is the problem, because I've already used it. So now we're going to go for a two to wound. It's strength eight. I'm going to cry. Oh, I'm going to cry. Okay. Right, so fouled there. Oh, boy. Right, okay. Compose yourself. I've got another fly left. All right. Uh, I chewed and chewed over where to fire with the Stormtown gunship. We're going to go into the smaller fiend here. Going to play Tank Hunters. It's cost me two command points. An Imperial Fist stratagem. Uh, it's plus one to the wound roll. Um, so we're going to offload everything that we have. So it's two crack shots from uh, the Typhoon Missile Launcher. And then trying to take advantage of Devastator Doctrine, uh, plus one to damage with the Twin Assault Cannon as well. So I'm going to offload everything into this smaller fiend. Okay, the moment of truth. The best result, obviously, is to bring this vehicle down. Let's see what happens. Two's to hit. All right, so far so good. Just one failed hit. Fours to wound. It's usually fives. Fours to wound with the help of the stratagem. And it's helped a tiny bit. This isn't very good here. Not too good on the results. Just four have made it through. Uh, Aaron has his five plus in one save. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what can you do? Two damage, yeah, two damage. Yeah, yeah, instead of eight. Uh, and then <laughs> Typhoon Missile Launcher. We get the two hits. Okay, threes to wound becomes twos to wound. Two fives. All right, so the stratagem hardly helped at all. This is a very, very important roll. Passed one, fouled one. Damage is five. Plus one is six. Wounds caused. Okay, so four wounds left. Uh, so not destroyed, but some significant damage coming through on that Mauler Fiend, but it is still very much alive, and it'll auto-restore wounds, uh, and the potential to use temporal manipulation uh, to restore wounds on it as well. So Imperial Fists have done their best here. Uh, damage has been quite light, really. One Mauler Fiend destroyed. Uh, damage has been put on two others, and uh, a good number of, well, one unit of Zangor's wiped out across here. It's not too bad from the Imperial Fists, uh, but at this rate, the Thousand Suns do have the advantage we'll go on to charges potentially next to the imperial fist just been talking about the imperial fist army uh, i'm currently running as you can see uh 10 man tactical squads with last cannons and rhinos we're just discussing a better combination perhaps to go for razorbacks here and for the imperial fists double last cannons an option for more heavy firepower but also Perhaps just as deadly as twin assault cans mounted on these. There's no minus to the hit rolls anymore when you're moving the vehicle. Uh, and then on that turn one of the Imperial Fist, you can kick out some serious damage against uh, buildings and vehicle units. And also great for hosing down uh, infantry units as well. So that perhaps could be an option for the Imperial Fists uh, to perhaps a little bit of body modification here on these rhinos and turn them into razorbacks uh, to give the Imperial Fists their firepower, keep their mobility and then a bit of infantry uh, support with the transport capacity that those vehicles have. Something to think about here, but I'm getting the impression my boots on the ground here, the Imperial Fist tactical squad's a little bit vulnerable. So, uh, just learning these things as you go along, but they may, that may well be a viable option. Charges next for the Imperial Fists. Yeah, we're on charge phase. I'm not going to charge anywhere. I, I was lined up for a charge, but I reckon I'll, I'll maybe charge in, cause a couple of wounds, and then in return, Aaron has prescience on that thing. It's just going to rip my infantry to pieces. So we'll sit there instead and hold off and force the Mauler Fiend to charge in against them on Aaron's turn if he wishes to. Okay so turns finished here on, uh, for the Imperial Fists. Turn one, battle round one is now over. Uh, the Thousand Suns have definitely made the best impression here in this game but Imperial Fists have, have let loose of their own firepower and have performed not too bad. They're still definitely in the fight. We'll go on to the second turn now for the forces 
of chaos. All right, so uh, we're on Aaron's move here, just to call out some victory points being scored as first strike. There's points available for Aaron to be picked up at the end of the game for that. Uh, and then we're going to score some points as well. Uh, we destroyed one of the Mauler Fiends. That'll be added on at the end of the game. Uh, but the start of, or the end of Aaron's command phase here on turn two, uh, he controls two objectives. So he's going to get five points. He doesn't hold more than me. He doesn't hold more than... Uh, three or more, so it's just going to be five points scored uh, for that. So the Imperial Fist holding this one and this one has helped reduce the number of points coming through. Uh, and then the banner was raised last turn, and so at the end of the command phase, I want to pick up one point uh, for holding that one. So six points scored uh, here at the start uh, of his turn. Yeah, Aaron's just moving. Another two points being scored. The data intercept secondary across here. Sangles camped out on the objective. They fulfilled the action. End of Aaron's command phase. Uh, two points, you reckon, picked up uh, because currently Aaron controls two objectives. two objectives. That's before Aaron made his move. So that objective being held and the one just across there being held as well. So another two points being scored. Uh, not racing away, though, with loads of points, but a, a steady flow of points coming through uh, here for the Thousand Suns. We'll let Aaron continue on with his move here. Okay, so movement phase is finished now for the Thousand Suns. Interesting uh, moves taking place here. The angles have shifted across and now raising a banner. This is one of Aaron's secondaries here. It's another banner being raised uh, on this objective. Then Terminators have arrived in support. So it's Terminators versus Terminators here on this flank. Uh, Rubik Marines continue to press ahead, uh, shielding and protecting the Psychers just here. It looks like Demon Prince has been diverted away. Uh, from his main objective going after uh, the Centurion Devastators. He's, he's turned around now. He's going to go after these Flyers. Uh, and then multiple Psychers here. So there could be some really nasty Psychic Mastery taking place there in the centre of the battlefield. The second unit of Terminators has arrived here. The new rules for unit coherency. Some on top, some below. All on top of the structure. And no, no doubt getting ready to unleash a ton of firepower into the Centurion Devastators. Maul of Fiend restoring a wound back up to five going after this Rhino should bring that down and this smaller fiend doesn't need to move uh, its targets all arrayed in front of it and it's gone back up to nine wounds left on that one imperial fist could suffer this turn we'll go on to psychic phase next okay so dim prince gaze of fate yep. oh it goes off at 11. okay so the re-roll becomes available at any point during aaron's turn it could be saved for later on uh um, but useful enough right this. okay here comes the first smite goes off on an eight Three. Damage is three. Okay, now's the time to play Armour of Contempt. It's been played. Uh, so, five pluses. Come on. Yo, we've blocked one. All right, so down to eight wounds left on that Storm Talon gunship. Okay, so Disco Inferno here. Diabolic Strength is going to go onto the Dim Prince, try and help him out as he prepares to charge. Doesn't go off. It's on plus one. It's four in total. The Command reroll, if that's used, will be rerolling both of the dice. We could use a Gaze of Fate on one dice, yeah. Um, yeah, we, we, no, we'll not, it's going to hold, okay, so Diabolic Strength does not go off, and then Astral Blast, we've been talking about it, if it goes against the closest visible, it will strike here, but the kickback will cause mortal wounds on Aaron's own models, so I think he's going to go for Smite. Smite. Yep, goes off. And nothing I can do too far away to try and block it. Three mortal wounds. Uh, we'll try and block here. And can roll fives. So can I. No, yeah, roll one. Two more wounds taken, down to six. All right, Aaron, next smite going into the flyer. Yep. Goes off on a ten in total. Two. Two mortal wounds caused. Looking for fives, just trying to survive. You know. Okay. Almost ran away off the table, that dice. Uh, down to four wounds left. Treason of Zinch and Gaze of Fate could be enough to destroy it, or he can put those into other targets here. Hmm. Plenty of options available here. Firestorm will go into... Not the Centurions. Going into the Centurions. Oh boy, here it comes. Does go off. On a nine. Mm, I'm in range to try and block this. I think it's worth having a go. It's very unlikely we're going to try and block this here, but uh, a chance... The librarian to be a hero. Yeah, useless. Okay, so nine dice, nine sixes. Was it worth trying to block that one? 
One mortal wound caused. Okay. I've uh, got a six plus feel no pain. Which we found, and it's enough to remove the restored model from play. So back down to two models remaining. And then Infernal Gaze, going to go after the same unit. Very easy to make this one go off. A six. Three dice, three dice four plus. None, triple three. Okay. okay. So it's taking you two turns to come up with a bad dice roll here. <laughs> okay, so not gone off. Right, next up, Glamour of Zinch being played onto the Terminators on top of the building. Goes that goes off. What's that, minus one to hit rolls? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to protect them. And the next power. Smite. Yeah. Smite going into the flyer. Goes off on a five. It is Thousand Suns. D3 mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. Five pluses. None. One wound left on the Storm Ten gunship. Okay. Okay. Beaker, next. going to do temporal manipulation on the... Damaged smaller fiend. Yep, okay, here it comes. Is six acquired, does go off. Yep, nothing I can do. D3, two, two wounds restored, yeah, well worth doing. Bumps him back up to seven. back up to seven, a healthier amount. And then smite. Into the flyer. Oh, it just about goes off. One more to wound. A five plus to stay alive. Got it. <laughs> okay, one wound remains. Still both fly flyers are in the air here at this point. I think Aaron would like to try and bring one of them down so you can just simply charge the other uh, with the dim prints. Okay, so uh, this guy here. Yes. He will try. Yeah, this Doom Bolt is his power, then there's the ability to restore models, but there's not really anything that's been taken damage yet, apart from the Zangles down here. We'll give Doom Bolt a go. Okay. No, no it's not gone off. Uh, low grade smite now from the Terminators. Does Goes off, so it's going to be a mortal wound. Um, so we'll drop down to... I think it's 9. I'm going to double check. I think Rhinos are 10 wounds, Razorbacks are 11. Yeah, smite coming from the Terminators. Goes off, mortal wound caused. Uh, I'll try and ignore it on a 6. No. I don't have past any of those 6 plus feel no pains yet. Okay, just on top there. Alright, psychic phase is done. Okay, Imperial Fists are still here. They're on the, on the table. Uh, we'll go on to shooting phase next. There's more firepower available as both Terminator units have arrived. Okay, uh, one pistol. Inferno pistol firing into the flyer. Gets the hit. Fives for a wound. Oh, close. Okay, just Aaron trying to pick off that single wound. Uh, Aaron can do the same. He's armed with a pistol as well. Does get his hit. Doesn't get his wound. Okay. So now really we're looking at three units with firepower, Terminators here, Terminators on top of the building, and then uh, the Rubik Marines just here. All right, so Terminators here, going to fire at the other Terminators, it's the natural choice to go for. Uh, so it's going to be 16 shots with the Combi Bolters. Threes to hit. Aaron's firepower is better than mine. Aaron's going to get his two up save. I, I've got cover though. We're we'll, durable enough. Force to wound. It's a good roll. Yeah. Seven. Seven, yeah. Seven and made it through. Uh, it's reckoned I'm getting cover. But it's AP minus two. So I'm going to get a three plus save. Mm. All right. We will take a wind on one and lose another model. Yeah, just checking the rules. Light cover we're playing for craters, so plus one uh, to save and froze for ranged weapons. So there is uh, four shots now with the Soul Reaper cannon. Threes for hits, threes for wounds. Double six. Uh, it's going to take me to a four up save with these two. Ugh, double one. Yuck. Another Terminator gone. We are outclassed here by these. Scarab Occult Terminators. Missile yeah, Hellfire Missile Rack. Two hits. Uh, heavy? No, your Terminators ignore it. Fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then two's to wound. One wound comes through. 
Aaron's tempted to. <laughs> no, He's not going to go for it. Okay. Uh, minus two, so three up. Six passed. Okay, so lost two Terminators there. It's a good start from the Occult Terminators. Okay, all right, so just figuring out cover here. So all of these are going to fight. They've moved. Uh, so one shot each is to help uh, the Soul Reaper cannons. It's going to fire up against the Centurion Devastators up here. Uh, dense cover we're playing for this Admech Train. So minus one to the hit rolls. We're not going to get plus one to our cover saves there. Uh, no, these guys are going into that. Oh, no, they're not going after Centurion Devastators. They're going through here. So the same rules apply for the terrain. So fours for hits, re-rolling ones for multiple characters nearby. That's awful. Uh, it happens to us all, Aaron. Sometimes we just don't roll very well <laughs> in the game. Uh, one wound comes through. Uh, AP minus two, though. Five plus. We do. We pass. Praise the Emperor. Okay. Uh, so Sorry, Reaper Cannon. Missed. Reroll the ones. Yeah, reroll the ones. Yes, of course. Two hits. Okay. Three's to wound. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus three. So sixes now. Try and keep a couple of Marines alive. No. All right. It's two Marines from the squad here slain. Right, so that's that five power done. Terminators now, they are going to offload all they have into the Centurion Devastators. If I lose that unit, there will be trouble, for sure, for the Imperial Fists. Do you want to check if you can reroll ones? Just wondering if Beaker is granting you a reroll ones here, from his base to that base, I reckon. Yep. Yeah, it is. Okay, so ones can be rerolled. Okay. So threes for hits. Oh, sorry, fours for hits, yeah. And that has helped there, the cover's protected them. Aye, just the one wound. Yep. Interesting. Uh, so minus two. No, it's got a wound. Wound has been caused, so one wound taken. They're four wounds each now, Sendra and Devastators, so they're a bit more durable. I'm going to roll a six plus, feel no pain, actually. We pass, yay, finally. So that wound can be taken off and sent back to whence it came. Next, Soul Reaper Cannon. Um, Rear on the ones. One. Okay. I think it's fours to end. No, triple two. Okay. And then Hellfire Missile Rack. Two shots. One hit. One. Okay. Two hits. Threes to end. One uh, wound. I. Tempted to go for the command reroll. Yeah, uh, yeah there's nothing else. Yeah. Yes. Saves. Past one. D3 damage. There's a chance you're on a 5 plus to destroy a model. Aye, close. Uh, here's a fifth reroll. Oh no. No, he's done it. Or maybe not. Six plus, feel no pain. Come on. Just one six, please. No. Oh, gone. One model left. Right, that is actually it. Shooting phase finished. Centurions do remain alive, but there's only one model left. So, charges, maybe some Overwatch coming up next. Alright, so charges have taken place, and there has been a lot of them occurring here. So the last charge that happened uh, was the Rubik Marines charging into here, and rolled a 10. They managed to swing around and take this objective. That's going to stop us from scoring five points at the end of our command phase of holding that objective. So good move with them. Uh, then across here, the flyer's been contacted. Uh, Demon Prince charged across here. Then Disco went into this flyer. Overwatch scored two wounds. Uh, playing that stratagem, and then Araman charging through. Charged both, uh, so he's got in between both of those flyers. Surely they are doomed, so that'll be the end of them. Uh, then across here, the Mordorfiend's gone into both of these infantry squads, no overwatch, and then across here, the other Mordorfiend's gone into the Rhino here. So it's going well here, very, very well here, uh, for the Thousand Sons, and a chance for them here to, to cripple uh, this Imperial Fist army. I'm still enjoying the game. This is a good combination, this one, uh, and learning a lot. Certainly seeing units that are struggling and not having much impact, and the potential for other units to be used uh, for the Imperial Fists, and still remain within the classic Marine sort of style. We're seeing some units doing well, uh, others not so well, and it's certainly creating some ideas and suggestions to improve uh, this Imperial Fist force. So, being slaughtered, but it's enjoyable. Um, sort of, <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll go on to combat resolution next.
All right, so uh, Aaron has command points available. He's playing Warp Flame Gargoyles. So he's going to try and cause some mortal wounds here on these infantry. So this squad? Yes. It's four plus, I think it is. Yep. Okay. And the other squad? Yep. Yep. D3. Oh, please. Three slain. I think he's going to try and wipe out both of these squads here and mop up this flank. Four and a two. So yes, so we've now got two and a squad of four. All of this taking place. Look who's watching. Captain Lysander is watching all of this taking place. He's giving hints and tips to his brother Marines at the moment, but he's, he's too far away to make any kind of impact uh, at this stage. So, Warp Flame Gargoyles has been played. So, the... <laughs> Uh, whatever army you're creating for Ninth Edition, you need you need melee units. Look at my Imperial Fist units here. Look at the ones that are being contacted. They don't stand much chance in close combat. Uh, Aaron's units here, the Mauler Fiends especially, in amongst the Imperial Fists, causing absolute havoc here. So firepower is an asset for sure, but so too is melee. And Aaron has plenty of resources to call upon. And to meet the needs... As required here across the board. Flyers coming across, Aaron's able to contact them. Yeah, you're able to charge, that's why you've charged me. They're on discs, aren't they? They fly, yeah, so you can make contact. Brilliant. So, an excellent counter attack here from the Thousand Suns Psychers. And across here with the Mauler Fiends as well. Excellent with them. So, start here. Yes, so distributing these attacks. Aaron trying to go for the wipeout here. So, we're going to put two fists in here and three fists in here. Yes. So, uh, and the lasher tendrils? The lasher tendrils is going to be four and two. two. Gotcha. Okay, here it comes. So, the fists, two fists. Yes. Two fists. Fours for hits, two have missed. Okay, and then the other fists, one hit. Okay, and two's for a wound. AP minus three, six plus to defy this beast. No. Okay, so one model slain from that squad. So, squad of two and a squad of three left now. Yeah, so uh, some of you perhaps wondering about Demon Forge, Aaron's saving it for the attack on the other Rhino. Um, so, Lash Tendrils? Yep, so two. two. Uh, one hit. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he wants the wipe out here. What I have, um, yeah, he's a bit greedy when it comes to a slaughter here. He's uh, wanted, <laughs> wanted to wipe out everything on this flank. No, uh, doesn't doesn't wound. Okay, okay, so that two man squad will survive. And then yeah. two hits. hits, three's to wound. One wound. It's the one wound, yeah. That's they they struggle without that stratagem. Past that one, okay. So those marines remain. Interesting. Next smaller fiend. Now demon forge is going to be used for one command point. Okay. It's a fresh rhino, but uh, doesn't stand too much of a chance yet. Five attacks on the charge with the fists. Reroll four of them. That's the result. Okay, excellent. Three to wind. That's all re-rollable. Got it. I must get a six. I do. Nine wounds caused instead of twelve, so one wound required now. Okay. Lash of tendrils. Fours. Re-rollable. See the difference now, that stratagem. Just need one of these to successfully get through. There's two. And two. Okay, five pluses. Surely not. No. Destroyed. And I wouldn't mind detonating. There you go. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, six inch explosion, D3 mortal wounds. That's both the Mauler Fiends. Aaron just checking to see if it reaches my infantry. No, alright. So the Mauler Fiend that attacked me, two. And the other Mauler Fiend, three. Okay. <laughs> okay, some mortal wounds of course. Now down to five of this one and six with the other. Okay. Yes, yeah, of course, sorry, yeah, remove the model from play. <laughs> I can go on to the next combat. It's just not worth me interrupting here with any of these units, then it's stand a chance in close combat. So Aaron could pick the next one. Where we go with that one? Rubik here. So uh, two attacks on the charge of three. Threes to hit. Out of range when he kind of re-rolls. So just the two hits come through. Fives to wound. No. And then another 18 attacks on the charge. So just tapping the Rhino out, swamping the objectives, the main mission with them. Death to the False Emperor. There's one. Another hit. 
crashing on the side, trying to fire their bolters through the vision slits here on the side of this empty rhino. Hives to wound. Two. Two. Three up armor save. Passed. Okay, so zero damage coming through. And now trying to uh, finish off one of the flyers. Just one wound needed. And then destroying the other one with all of its wounds remaining. Okay, so Disco. Going to try and pick up a wound. Here it comes. Twos. Rerolling ones for his own ability. Death to the False Emperor gives you another attack, which hits. Fives to wound with the stave. Strength six. I might check that actually. I could be toughness six on a storm talent. Yeah, we are toughness six. Okay, um, I'm going to reroll one of these CP reroll. Okay, Aaron wants us to go through four plus. No. Nope. No. Okay, interesting. Uh, AP minus one, so four plus. Oh boy, I'm thinking. Ah, oh, come on, reroll. It's gonna die anyway. Yeah, I will leave it. Explode. Almost. Fly gone. Fly destroyed. I, I, it, if there was no other units nearby, it might have been worth it. But there's Aramon nearby. Even the Dim Prince could swing around, so we'll leave it. Uh, fly's gone. Okay. So Dim Prince next. Seven attacks for him. Eight attacks on the charge. Twos to hit. Rerolling ones. And death to the False Emperor. Reroll two ones. And then... Three extra attacks. <laughs> Two's to hit. Oh dear, this is ridiculous. It's going to be threes to wound. Mm, a few of foul, but it's pretty good. It's five, six. Six, yeah. Okay. Minus two. Fives. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Throne of Terror. That was a good roll. Okay, so four wounds cause damage two. Yeah. Right, Aaron's attacks. Five attacks. Twos. Be rolling ones. There's another one just there, death to the false emperor. Oh, sorry, that was a hit. The hit, yeah. Really we'll use that one. Yeah, yeah. we'll hit five, five, yeah. Fours? Yes, four. Yes, strength four plus two. One. Ooh. What's the minus on Aaron? It's damage three. Uh, minus one. Four plus. Yes, held. Okay, not too bad at all. Um, uh, Aaron has a disc. Yeah. One attack. Hits with a death to the false emperor. <laughs> so um, that hits. It it's just trying to wound. Wound comes one. through. I think it's minus one. Pass though on a six again. Storm Talon defiantly remains alive. Okay, interesting result. Um, bit of fighting back to do. Resolve that off camera. It's uh, very low. Ch uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Marines fighting back. We'll push these in and fight back with these. So maybe lump them all together. Uh, here, so sergeant, chain sword, we were charged. So add another four in for the other sergeant, and then three other marines. So two, two, and two. Threes to hit. You'll take an utter miracle to bring this thing down. We've caused four wounds. Yeah, passed. All passed. Well done. Okay. Uh, the Rhino. Uh, three attacks. Need sixes. Nope. And the Flyer. Sixes. Nope. That's it. So done. Done. Uh, done around this side. So zero uh, damage done in retaliation from the Imperial Fists. That's the turn finished here. Uh, and it's been a good turn from the Thousand Sons. Learning a lot though with the Imperial Fists as we uh, try and work on a list for them. Uh, but the Thousand Sons have control here. The game is going all their way at this point. Okay, so turn's finished. Situation looks desperate here for the Imperial Fists. Morale's going to be fine uh, across the board. They've lost two, uh, but Morale will be okay with the Sergeant still in the squad. And that's it. All right, so turn's finished. Things looking kind of desperate here. Banners being raised here by the forces of chaos. We'll go on to the second turn now for the Imperial Fists. Uh, we'll press on with them, uh, but looking kind of desperate at this point. We'll go on to turn two now for the Imperial Fists.
Okay, so movement done here for the Imperial Fists on their second turn. So much has happened in this game already. Uh, but we'll press on with the Imperial Fists. Going to remain in close combat with 9th edition now. I can fire my weapons uh, against those Rubik Marines. Terminators, I'm just think, trying to think through the situation here. Terminators have pushed forwards. The Librarians uh, move forwards with them. Uh, the Marines just here happy to hold on to this objective. Uh, at the end of the turn, uh, the Medic did did manage to restore one of the Centurions back to play, uh, so two of those left. I need to remember that he's resurrected with wounds, one wound remaining, so that model is virtually, he's barely alive here, he's got uh, taken three wounds, one wound left, uh, but thankfully back to let loose with some firepower. Lieutenant's going to remain where he is, just to grant the rear ones. Lysander was tempted uh, to go down here and try and charge, but it's dropping down five inches and he sits at the bottom. Seven or eight inch charge, but then these pipes here, just checking the rules for them. Uh, it's going to be plus two or minus two to your charges, so I don't think that charge is going to go ahead. So I'd rather take the reroll ones for my shooting. Uh, so then the Marines have pulled out of combat against the Mauler Fiend here, splitting off either side, heading off towards the objectives, hoping to clear those two Mauler Fiends out of the way. And that is movement done. The flyer, just checking the rules, correct us if we're wrong, uh, but we've flown off the board here with the Storm Talon gunship, and we'll be able to arrive uh, from reserve next turn. There's no point keeping it on the table. It couldn't shoot uh, with the new rules for fly models. We'll go on to Psychic Phase next. All right, so points picked up, by the way, uh, here for the Imperial Fist is zero. I only control one objective. I need to control two uh, to at least get five victory points here. Attrition's a possibility. Aaron destroyed two of my units, one fly and one rhino last turn. So if we can try and destroy three units for the thousand suns we can try and pick up four points it's a good target to go for remember we picked uh for a secondary uh we went for destroying larger units uh getting three points reach the mall of fiends destroyed so we'll try and go for that as well all right so i'm going to try and play chasm first of all let's see if this psychic can make this power go off it's going to go into the rubik marines oh it's a five i just come on reroll you have to do both, thank you. Seven, there you go. Oh no, <laughs> Aaron can try and deny. I'll uh, drop my command point here, so we've got two left. He's checking to see if Aaron's in range, doesn't look like. 24, just short. No, so you can use any of these psychers here. It's uh, eight required to try and block this one. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I presume so, yeah. <laughs> He's going to go for it. This is infuriating because it's a six and a one. The old 8th edition re roll would have been better. I'll go for it. can go for it. can try and ruin my fun. No. Aha. Right, chasm then. Movement is. Uh, roll 2d6. If the result is less than the lowest move characteristic. So, what's your lowest move? I think it's five on Rubik Marines. Okay, so we're going to roll up here. Got him. Okay, we've beaten the score. So it's three mortal wounds caused on that squad. So they're one wound at a time. So three of those Rubik Marines can disappear. Okay, feeling pretty good now. We'll go for Smite. Daha, nine. Trying to deny that with any other psychic nearby. In the ten. No. D3 mortal wounds. Got him. Three more mortal wounds caused. Ouch. Well done, librarian. Flicking through the pages of his uh, librarian book, and he's managed to conjure up some decent powers here. That's a devastating result there against the Rubik Marines. And on that note, we'll end the psychic phase. That's uh, pretty impressive from the librarian. Uh, so, happy enough with the result from him. We'll go on to shooting phase next. So, we're on tactical doctrine here. Uh, we'll fire the Rhino into the Rubik Marines. Uh, so, threes for hits. No kind of rerolls available. Six has popped an extra hit though. And three wounds have come through. AP minus one, but then plus one for all his dust. So three ups. Passed, no problem. Terminators next. AP minus one for tactical doctrine, then all his dust, giving them a two up save. I think we must go into the Zangors. Uh, so we'll go for the assault cannon. First of all, need fours. And then need threes. Four wounds come through. Five up in one save available. 
none four models slain and then we'll go for eight shots with the storm bolters force to end yeah four more wounds come through two more slain okay but uh, Zangle's taking a beating here so a bit of a surge in the Imperial Fists here with the limited amount that they have left they've actually done not too bad at all Hmm, okay, so that's that complete on this flank. Two Centurion Devastators available, um, so we'll do some firepower with them. So I'm just going to ignore these evil Terminators. I'm going to put my firepower, all of it, into those Mauler Fiends. Uh, so one model into each of the Mauler Fiends with both the Laz Cannons and the Hurricane Bolters. So, <laughs> so we'll see if this works. So uh, this model here, I'm just standing actually on my tiptoes just to get the camera at the right height, firing down at this one. So two last cannon shots. Snake eyes. Good job Captain Lysander did not move down the building. And he grants two hits. Uh, threes to wound. Double six. Five plus in fun saves. Quite an important roll here. Oh, he's blocked one. He's mm. going to let it go. I haven't used a CP this Don't think so. Not this phase, no. Uh, D6 damage. I think I have a command reroll left here, so yeah, I've tempted him into a reroll. Here it comes. No. Nope. No, all right, D6 damage. Four. Four. That's pretty good. Two left. Two wounds left. It's doable. We could bring one of the Mauler Fiends down. We must cause destruction to stand any kind of glimmer of a chance uh, here in this game. All right, so uh, eight, we need 12 shots here with the Hurricane Bolters. We're rolling ones, there's no ones. Six pops an extra hit. Five swoons, this is it. We're rolling ones for the lieutenant. Always helped. Four have made it through. AP minus one. Gag, got him. Yep. Destroyed, do you explode? Nope. No, right, Mordafine destroyed. Okay, so that's that threat removed from that flank. Okay, moving on to the next smaller fiend. That has five wounds remaining. Two laser cannon shots. They've both hit here. One has not wounded. Surely now is the time for the command reroll. It has wounded. Come on. Blocked one. <laughs> well done. Five plus to blow you up, though. Five plus to go for the kill. Oh, not bad at all. One wound left. Can the Hurricane Bolters do it? Threes. Reorient ones. All those hits. We've popped an extra four bonus hits on top as well. Sure, this is enough. Centurion Devastators. Defiant here. Fives to wound. There's three. But hold it right there. Reorient ones for the Lieutenant. Another two. Five saves at minus one. Five saves at four plus. <gasps> Just the one. It does, oh, I can't believe it. Does it explode? No. Third Mauler Fiend. Destroyed. Centurion Devastators. They have cleared that flank. There's some desperate firepower taking place. The game's still lost. Surely still lost here. Aaron has too much psychic might. But a bit of pride and glory restored. So the Imperial Fists, classic space marines. All right, so with that encouraging firepower taking place, these marines down here will fire at the uh, occult terminators. Going to supercharge with the plasma gun. Ooh, order two, missed. <laughs> then bolter shots uh, firing here. So there's <laughs> two ones and two twos. Abysmal. Okay. Uh, and it's minus one to hit rolls against them uh, as well in that terrain. So fired here, done this one. These are done. Mastercrafted bolt rifle. Or bolt gun, sorry. We'll fire it into the Terminators. We never know. We've hit. We've wounded. I think that pops an extra shot. Or oh, it also hits. We'll try and wound with that as well. No. Okay, so one wound comes through. AP minus one. Don't roll a one. It's roll a one. Two damage. Dead Terminator. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Stuff here. Wow, okay. So, hold well on to the Lieutenant. And I think... 
that's all the firepower done just looking around to see what else the marines across here pulled out of combat it's not able to shoot uh, but that's encouragement there for the imperial fists uh, the Molafins all eradicated charges yes coming up next yeah, so charges taking place. Just remember there was Glamour of Zinch here, but we rolled a six for our hit uh, with the Lieutenant, so uh, it's not made any impact. Terminator's charge there, rolled a double six for them, but we declared only against uh, the Rubik Marines, and then we, we swung around to our right just to make way for the Librarian. He's managed to charge in as well. It's a bit of a fight now taking place on this flank. Right, so fight the Terminators first of all. Happy for them to sit where they are. Going to play Fury of the First with my last command point. We'll get one back next turn, but uh, Fury of the First is going to be used to try and make them as accurate as possible. So we'll go for the Power Fists first of all on two models. Two attacks each. Space Marines on the charge, extra attack. Uh, threes for hits, minus one for the Fists, then plus one for Fury of the First. Oh boy, okay, it's actually not helped at all. Three have made it through. Two's to wound. They're all wounded. AP minus three. Aaron will take five plus inbun saves here. None. Three Rubik Marines slain. I can get a wipe out here. It's possible. Sergeant then. Three attacks on the charge is four. Twos. Fours. One. AP minus three. Passed with the Invon save. <laughs> okay. Uh, interrupt play. Mm, no. Librarian to fight next. When does that last till end of that phase? Yeah, it won't carry on to next turn. So, Librarian to fight next with his stave. Sorcerer versus Sorcerer here. Three attacks, four attacks with the Librarian. Let's try and get the wipeout on the squad. Ugh, oh, dear me. I think he's. I don't think he's a 2 plus weapon skill. I highly doubt it. No, he's not. He's just got one hit. Threes to wound. Die, he's done it. Minus one, though. Fouled. One or two. <laughs> Come on, reroll. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, is it D3 damage? Yeah. Mm. No. No. He's going to die? Yeah. I think he's got... I'll roll my damage, yeah. Hang on a second. Yeah, three wounds. All right, I think he's gone. All right, so squad destroyed. And the librarian, I'll just tuck him in. Oh, yeah, I'll tuck him in tight to those. Okay, so that's librarian finished. Uh, but a mini victory here for the Imperial Fists. They've uh, cleared out the Rubik Marines from this area. They've rescued the Rhino, and they now sit on top of this objective. All right, so turn's finished. Imperial Fist resistance continues. The Thousand Suns will need to go on to another turn uh, here to try and shut the Imperial Fists down. The danger for the Imperial Fists is all of this psychic might. They haven't stopped that, and so therefore the Imperial Fists are still in very serious trouble. We'll go on to turn three now for the Thousand Suns as they, as they try and see this game through to victory. Right, so we're on turn three here for the Thousand Suns, just points-wise, uh, attrition, we managed to achieve that, so Imperial Fist picked up four points, uh, plus the other points that can be achieved at the end of the game for, the, for destroying the three Mauler Fiends, as one of our secondaries. Uh, Aaron only controls one objective at the start or the end of his command phase, so no primary picked up at all. Need to hold two at least to get five points. Um, so it's been quite tight here, both sides contesting these uh, objectives, but... Uh, one point for uh, the mission secondary objective, and then two points picked up for the double banners. So points being harvested with the banners that have been planted. So we'll let him make his moves now. Thousand Suns are ahead, but not by too much of a margin here, as Imperial Fist resistance continues. All right, so the overall plan for the Thousand Suns is to keep those psychers alive, and that's what Aaron's managed to do. And now we can see the potential mopping up ability that they have. Terminator's closing in. I knew it would happen, uh, but we had to charge anyway as they try and clear us off the objective. Zangles onto this objective here just to watch over the banner. Uh, and then here, Araman and Disco Inferno plan to move forwards here to use psychic powers and then potentially charge into the Rhino. Uh, then the other psychers heading off on foot in this direction. Ahead of them, jumping forwards with the wings, uh, is the Demon Prince. 
and looks like he may well be able to get a charge in against the Marines just across the other side uh, of the fuel pipeline and Terminator's happy to sit where they are. We've gone to Psychic Phase next. Okay, here it comes, Gaze of Fate. It's a good one to start off with just to get that reroll up and running, which it does. Yep, just harvesting a command point at the start of the command phase as well. Smite. Smite, yeah, smite from him going after the infantry dead ahead. Yep. D3. Just the one. One wound, okay, so one marine can be brought down. Just a regular marine yet, so you can disappear. Alright, so beacon next. Prescience going to go on to the Scarab Occult Terminators. Ooh, no, it doesn't go off. Okay. Uh, Aaron could reroll the dice there with Gaze of Fate. Yeah, I will. Okay. Nope. Six, no, it doesn't quite go off. Okay. Then Smite coming through. It looks like it's the Centurions that are closest. Just going to double check. It could be this infantry unit if they can be seen and the range is right. Um, it's 11 to them, so they're closest. closest. We'll just check line of sight. Yeah, it's closest visible. They can't be seen. Uh, there, the angle's too tight and the imprint's blocking off. So it can go into the Centurion Devastators. Which does go off. D3 mortal wounds. Three. Three. Six plus, feel no pain. No, this is not good. Uh, I'm going to lose that model. And then mortal wounds do overflow. So two mortal wounds onto that model. On top, the sergeant remains. Just two more wounds to try and get through to wipe out the Centurion Devastators. Okay, Glamour of Zinch next being cast onto the Terminators. That's going to go off on a seven. Okay, so minus one to the hit rolls against them. And he'll do a smite. Okay. And I it's going to be up here again. Yeah, you yeah. can't be seen. Yeah, you can't see those marines. It's going to go into the century and devastators. Goes off. Deadly stuff. Just the one. Uh, I've used my gears of fate. Yes. So I might use. Tempted for a command reroll. No. Six plus feel no pain. No. One wound. <laughs> Just one wound remains. Uh, on the century and devastators. What's left of them? Okay, uh, so there's psychic ability uh, with this squad available. Yep, yeah, time flux. Here it comes. Just going to try and restore a terminator to play. Yep. Goes off. Okay, put the terminator back on. Brilliant power that is. That's cult of time uh, power available kicking in. Okay, we'll do a uh, smite here. Yep, yeah, low grade smite coming through. Goes off. Yes, that's a mortal wound, so it's a dead terminator. Okay. I can't block that. I've got I've got one chance to block here with this librarian. Uh, Disco is going to do Astral Blast. Oh, no. Rhino. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, let's see if this goes off. Oh, not good. Nope. It's not going to go off at all, is it? Nope. We've escaped the Astral Blast. It would have hit that. D3 plus one mortal wounds, two mortal wounds, and two mortal wounds onto them. We've escaped. Okay. Well, I'm going to smite. Smite, okay, regular smite. Uh, plus one, yeah, yeah, it does go off. I'll try and block that. Okay. That's okay, here it comes. Uh, no, uh, I need to uh, beat it, don't I? You need to beat it, yeah. So you... Failed, and I can't reroll nothing. Okay, do you want me to reroll that? No, that's fine, that, that result can stand, and three mortal wounds, dropping down to six. Okay, Araman next. Right. It's been interesting to see what Aaron decides to do with Araman. Three powers available. Or four, if he uses a stratagem. Okay, good choice. Infernal Gaze against the Centurion Devastator's Perils. Uh, so, do, so, yeah, there's a stratagem that can stop the peril from coming through. Okay, it's Perils. Aaron's going to take the damage. Three mortal wounds caused. I think Aaron's quite safe here. Okay. Okay, so the power... This is a super smart. Um, this was Infernal Gears. Sorry, Infernal Gears, yeah, three dice needing four pluses. Got it, just about. Six plus to stay alive. No. Centurion Devastators are wiped out. That's, uh, they've lasted not too bad, but uh, I couldn't keep up with the repairs on them, and they are gone. 
then smite to the right. Yep, into the rhino. Yep. It becomes a nine. Maxed out again, down to three wounds left. And finally he's inches firestorm. Goes off. Oh, yeah. Uh, nine dice, nine sixes. Rock well so far, I'll remove my dice out of the way. Two. Two caused. Okay, down to one wound left. You see the grinding effect of these psychic powers, just stripping the wounds away. So Not too much the Imperial Fist can do about it. Psychic phase finished. Okay, we're going to shooting phase next. Uh, warp Flame Pistol to try and finish the Rhino off. Three auto hits. Fives for wounds. One. Wound comes through. And strength three, toughness seven. No. No, six is to wound. Okay. Uh, a bolt pit, yeah, Inferno Bolt Pistol from Araman. Hits. Wound, doesn't wound, no, okay. And then... These guys. Fire power from it. So, I think... I'll just put everything into the Terminators. Into the Terminators, yeah, to clear them out of the way, okay. Yep, yeah, so this is Inferno Combi Bolters. Threes. No rerolls available anywhere. So threes fits. Fours for wounds. Okay, four. Four going through. Minus two. Uh two wounds. Or lose the oh. Yeah, we'll lose the assault cannon. Okay. And assault river. All hit. Three is to wound. Two wounds. This could be enough. Five up in one saves. Oh, past one. One, <laughs> one wound remains. Missile wreck. Missile wreck. One hit. Is a wound. Strength eight. Toughness four. Not saved. Yeah, oh dear. Terminator's gone. Okay, their firepower's complete, nothing from the Zangors, uh, Terminators on top, yeah, I think this is the last of the firepower, they can pick on these characters if they so wish, if they're shooting. Right, so firepower's going to be split here from this squad into the Lieutenant and the Medic here. So, it's all been declared, so we'll just let Aaron roll up. So this is onto the Apothe Grip, Storm Boulders. Oh, you got prescience. No, it didn't go off. No, but I do have... Reroll ones, yeah. Ones. Oh, threes will be misses for oh, cover. No, yeah, dense terrain. Forced wind. Two. Two come through. Pass both. Five and a six. Okay. And shoulder reverse. Huh? Uh, three hits, yep. Three hits. Two wins. Uh, minus three, save one. One wound taken. Uh, six plus feel no pain. No, alright. So one wound caused. That was against the uh, medic. Yep. Path of carry, yep. <laughs> Into the lieutenant. We were all ones. We missed. Dense train makes a difference, that minus one to hit. Uh, and then two. two. Five ups. Double six, what on earth's going on here? These characters refusing to die. So, Rack, uh, one hit. Wound. No, D3 on the lieutenant. Two. Two, sixes, feel no pain. Save one, all right, so one wound caused. Characters have remained resilient here. All right, Aaron's going to play Infernal Fuse later. It's one of the new stratagems that is available from the Psychic Awakening book. Uh, you remained stationary, didn't you, with these? I did. Yeah, so you can fire again. Same combo? Uh, yes, but it's just rapid fire weapons. So I can't right, fire okay. Sword Reaper. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, it's, it's only rapid fire weapons, so it's going to put everything into the medic here to try and bring it down. Just with the Inferno Combi Bolters. May well be worth it here. Fours for hits. It's a good number of hits coming through. The wounds can work out. Oh yeah, not too bad. Five. One, two, three wounds cause us enough to kill him. Unless his six plus feel no pain comes to his aid. It does. <laughs> two wounds caused. Oh dear. 
apothecary three wounds. The more I'm playing the game, the more I'm learning how to pronounce apothecary. Is that right? Yeah. Yay. That's one good one good result from the <laughs> from this game. Okay, uh, shooting resolve. We're going to charges next. Okay, charges taking place. Uh, so all the charges have gone ahead here. Aaron had to use a command reroll to make this one go ahead as a, a poor roll, but then recovered. And they've made it in against the Rhino and the Librarian. Araman and Disco Inferno have made it in against the Rhino. And then across an 11 rolled, so swinging right around with the Dim Prints against those two Space Marines. So... Do Araman first. Aaron first, to try and finish off the Rhino. So five attacks. Twos. Rerolling one. And after the false emperor, extra attack. Yep. Hits. Any of these to wound? Two of them have wounded. There's a cock dice here, gonna re roll. No, that's gone through. Uh, three damage. Is it AP minus? Uh, oh, it's AP minus one, so oh. that passed. Oh, it passed, okay. Yeah. So, no damage. His disc hits. Wounds. Uh, fine. Past. Interesting, Aaron's attacks have bounced off. Now see if Disco can bring this party to a close here. Twos. They've all hit. Fives to wound. One. Got him. Do we explode? We do. <laughs> Not sorry, evil love. But this is evil because uh, Aramon's taken damage from her perils. Disco's taken damage. Come on, Rhino. Uh, we'll go for Disco first. Five or six. Come on. Oh, two wounds caused. He's still alive. And Aramon. Oh, he survived as well. <laughs> okay, close. I can't reroll anything here. And then the Terminators. Uh, one of them slain from the explosion. And then the Librarian maxes out at <laughs> three mortal wounds caused uh, for him. I think he's still alive, uh, but he's uh, almost killed by the explosion from his own vehicle. Okay, so this is the situation here. Uh, nine attacks coming through with power swords now from the Terminators. The yeah, after the False Emperor, another two attacks. Thanks. And they've both hit. What a grisly end here for the Librarian. Falls to wound. Five sixes required to stay alive. No, dead. Does he explode? Cock dice. He does. <laughs> <laughs> That's just part of imagination working away there. It's some kind of psychic explosion as the li <laughs> librarians hack down uh, by these swords. Uh, by these swords, flank secure, wiped out. All imperial fists gone. Just a few marines holding at the back. Uh, but success here for the Thousand Sons. And the final blow is going to come through here against these two marines. Eight attacks against them. Rerolling ones. They've all hit. No death to the false emperor. And then threes to wound. Ooh, horrific. <laughs> Just two. And I survive with, <laughs> with one. All right, so I'll fight back with that sergeant. Four attacks. Bit of pride here. See if I can put a wound on this demon prince. Just to warn him next time the imperial fists will be after him. Two hits. Got a wound. Come on. Three plus. Del passed. All right. Okay. So one marine can be removed from play. I think the game uh, is concluded now. Imperial Fish just have no resources left. Technically for ninth edition, not meant to concede. Uh, they don't get any victory points. But um, just with this warm-up game, I think it's sensible just to finish the game at this point. Okay, uh, we've got a final score. We've just worked out the points quickly, just to give you an idea. Uh, uh, Thousand Suns, 23 points. Not too... I think it's the lowest scoring game we've played so far for Ninth Edition. Just both sides sort of contesting the objectives and holding an equal amount. It stopped either army from surging ahead uh, with the primary objectives. Uh, but Aaron scored 23 points in total. Uh has got 13. And mostly that was through bringing those Maulafines down. Those points being picked up. Uh, wish we destroyed them quicker, uh, but ultimately they were destroyed. That's the end of the game here. Another enjoyable game for Ninth Edition. Perhaps a little bit complicated with the missions and the points that can be scored. That's one thing that seems to uh, tie us up here when we play these games. Terrain's pretty smooth going. I uh, just sort of go through that as we go along. It doesn't seem to slow the game down. But just the missions seem 
a little bit more complicated for scoring points, a little bit more intricate, uh, but I'm sure that will smooth out as we play more and more games. Other than that, I think 9th edition plays pretty good, just as enjoyable as 8th edition, and I think some of the changes have been good. Characters rules now, you have to be near a unit to be protected over a certain size, that's a good move. Uh, the ability for vehicles to fire to a degree whilst in close combat is pretty good as well, so uh, the changes we're seeing uh, that have taken place, we're seeing them played out during games and it seems to work very well indeed. But in this battle, the Thousand Sons have proved why they're at the top of the league at the moment here. They have smashed this Imperial Fist force, humbling them and sending them back, maybe to fight again another day. Plenty of food for thought here for the Imperial Fists. Definitely some improvements that can be made, but some promising signs for this classic Space Marine list. So, just been discussing units of the game. Not too bad from the Imperial Fist Flyers. They're okay, uh, but their lives cut short with that daring move sweeping across uh, the Thousand Suns line. Very difficult facing so much smite, uh, but those Flyers potentially are pretty good. Uh, everything else struggled, but I'm going to give it to the Centurion Devastators. It was their firepower that gave the Imperial Fists hope. The last cans could be deadly enough. Uh, Hurricane Bolters as well. We saw them destroying two Mauler Fiends uh, there on the previous turn. So I'm going to give it to them. Uh, so Aaron's going to give it to his Sorcerers in general. Honourable mention, I think, to the Mauler Fiends. They certainly distracted and tied up the Imperial Fists. Whatever they charged into, they caused havoc. Uh, but the real danger and damage came from these sorcerers here. The Imperial Fist couldn't get to them and their constant psychic uh, barrage coming through uh, withered all before them. So that's units of the game for both sides. Fascinating combination between these two armies. One army leaning heavily on psychic powers, the other leaning heavily on firepower, uh, but it is the psychic army that has triumphed here in this Imperial versus Chaos clash just a warm-up game here as we prepare to return to the league imperial fists a lot of work to do if they hope to stand any chance in this vicious season eight league great game keep a look out for more battle reports here on youtube and over on the plus channel if you've enjoyed the game please hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe and hit the notification uh, bell button on the channel as well great game thanks for watching and tune in next time